Hi, this is Mrs. E. Um, just going to do a quick video about the different types of pads that you can get uh, before Paul has his catheter out on Tuesday. So um, please bear in mind we haven't actually tried any of these. And we're just going to have a little look at the different types. Um, we're in the UK, so we're going to get a lot from the NHS and they cover it. Um, I think they cover 12 weeks worth at a time. We still haven't had our delivery yet, so we're just waiting for that to come. And when it does, we will look at the different types of pads that they offer. Um, Medicaid, I think, in certain states cover some incontinence um, products, but it's, it does vary. And I know if you've got the original part A and B or part 1 and 2, they don't know where. So it's really important to just see what is available for free um, before you even start. Um, where can I start? It's not very glamorous, unfortunately. Um, as many of you know, if you've had surgery or if you've had um, incontinent issues for some time, you're going to need something to help you to, to remain dry. Uh, ultimately, that's the goal. Um, I'd say comfort as well is really important, but unfortunately, the manufacturers of most products... Um, well, let me just show you, because the designs are terrible. And remember, it's not how it looks. You know, women have different types of uh, sanitary products. And uh, we're the same. We don't we don't look at them and think how wonderful they are and how pretty they are. We look for comfort, for fit, for price. Um, there's a variety of different things that we look for. Men, I suppose, are maybe not as used to that. So um, it could be quite a shock when you see all the different pads. So... Um, I'm going to show you first of all what the NHS are currently offering us, which are these mammoth size pads. And they're made by ID. Uh, there's a camera, ID. Which are available in the UK as well as the US. I, th I think all the products I mentioned are available, uh, widely available. So these are ID pads, and these are probably the larger, extra large, and just for scale, you know, they're massive. Balls are probably going to be much smaller than this, and the idea is they uh, you fill a little well, you know, you squish it together, make a little well for the, the urine to go in, and then pop them in your pants, not sure how, got to be honest, or um, it's a very tight-fitting boxer shorts, and you're good to go. Um, they're interesting they may be okay for night time um, one thing I would say is don't um, don't think right well that's it now I've got to wear these adult nappies I'm that's it you know um, it's about your comfort it's about protecting your clothing it's about making sure you can carry out normal activities it's not about just you know thinking well that's it now that's that's my life is these nappy type things because that's not the case okay so um they may be useful especially if they're free you know give them a go and certainly maybe at night time they might be useful they may be useful at home um so we're going to give them a go again like i said paul hasn't had his catheter out yet so we're waiting now and then we'll work out what's best for him. But we have been told in the first few weeks, any pad right now will be really good. So that's the ID. These are the normal ones. Uh, with an absor absorbency of four, five, five and a half. So that's those. And they're made of like a little um, spongy sort of fabric. The basic, basic ones, yeah. Probably the cheapest out there. I'm assuming. So next, uh, people recommended the Tenor products to me, and I'm familiar with Tenor. You know, it's widely advertised. So these are uh, Tenor pads, pants, I should say. They do pads, they do shields, they do guards, and these are the pads. The pants, and uh, as you can see, they're quite big as well. These are the medium size, active fit Tenor. Pants. So first um, observations is the pad itself is a lot smaller. Even opened out, it's a lot smaller. Excuse me, and still quite big on the back. So 
So if you're somebody who, I don't know, maybe likes to play golf, uh, you're on stage, maybe a performer, and you want a bit of discreet um, protection, then these riding up maybe not for you. If you find that you can pop them, a lot of people pop boxer shorts on top, but I think these may still ride up on the top. And again, we will review those um, and see how we go. But they have been highly recommended. No side leakage with these. Lots of people have recommended this type. So again, it's difficult for, for people to... Uh, who looks forward to wearing that? Nobody. And unfortunately, that's... It's a reality. So, luckily, a few pro a few companies are getting better at their design. Um, one thing that have come to light is the men's depends, which Russell drummer Russ um, recommends, as do many many men. Um, which is based, I guess. I don't want to offend anybody from depends. It's not a uh, sponsored video, obviously. But men's depends just on looking immediately and much lighter, they're smaller. They're a little, if I dare say, a little bit more stylish, but they are um, considerably lighter. And looking at these ones, these are the uh, these are the depends comfort protect underwear. It's reversed, but these are the nighttime ones. And actually they've got a high absorbency of 8, which for me is amazing because actually they're as light as the daytime active fit version. And um, I feel that's really important. Nobody, nobody likes to go around thinking like they're wearing a nappy. So to have that high absorbency with less padding um, is really crucial. And it's something I'll come to because women are quite used to having a variety of different styles of padding for absorbency rates. So don't just think, oh, you know, I'm flooding, I need a thicker pad because technology now has improved. And it may be that you need maybe a, a, a type of pad that forms sort of a gel or, or just, some, just some other, they got some wonderful technologies out there that I know very little about. But actually these, these look um, quite promising. And in fact, I've ordered... Um, a few of these already just because they're so light and the absorbency rate is high and the reviews are astounding so I'm going to give those a go so um, as many of you know um, Tenna Depends um, there are other brands ID, I think they all do shields or you know the things that just go in the front of the box are short which make life a lot easier and um, I don't have any from ten or depends at the moment, but I do have our own supermarket versions. So it's that, it's that little shield there designed to go in the front of the boxer or brief. Um, we've spoken to nurses who, who recommend both very tight fitting boxer shorts or tighty whiteies. And again, I'm not into um, advertising certain brands, but you know, if you've got your um, Calvin Klein type. A boxer short with the pouch at the front other brands available you can actually fit the shield in um, perfectly well and it should stay in place and also things like the old tighty whiteies people have been saying and you know don't recoil in horror because luckily a lot of brands now have uh, realised you don't really want you know those old white sort of white friendly type things and they've actually changed the designs again so you know, to fit a more modern market. So there's plenty of different types of underwear out there and just give everything a go. You know, it's, there's no harm in trying. The Paul prefers boxes, so we're going to go with that to start because that's what he's got. So, these come in a little pouch. Um, disposable packet, which is actually very useful. Um, because I guess when you when it's full, um, you could change your new pad and then put the old one in there maybe pop it in the bin which is what women do with this sanitary protection so that, that's that's useful so I'm going to open one um, so this is a 4 on the absorbency rate and as you can see you know um, quite a bit smaller than 
for me. I'm trying to give you scale, but you know. All those, these. I know what I I know which I pick personally. Um but we'll, we'll you know we'll go on to that now. So there's lots of different types of pads. So for us, like we said, we can't afford all this all this product, you know, it's quite expensive. Um, but it's something that the poor needs, so it's something that we're gonna um factor into our actually our weekly budget because for for me it's important that Paul has comfort when he's out and about. Um he's an artist, a musician, plays a lot of guitar, so I want something that's not gonna ride up that it um will hold a pad in place, whether or not it be underwear or not. Something that just stays in place, something that keeps him dry and makes him feel confident because that's really the main aim, you know, is, to, is, is, is you need your dignity and you don't want to feel like you're wearing um, nappies, essentially. So, our NHS will probably provide those lovely bad boys for us. Hopefully it's smaller size. I must stress these are not his size, so, you know, Paul... To give you a guide is a waist size 32 so it's usually a medium on most products so this this product would be perfect for him right now but we'll see how he goes we have been advised when we first go to have the catheter removed that he will be incredibly wet and that these sorts of products the pants are going to be much much easier for him to start and one of the grandchildren has a little surprise for him in store, so, um, you know, he'd probably be wearing these just so we can go and do, have the surprise and then come home and then, you know, he might have a little while more at home. Um, some people feel very, more, you know, much more confident to stay at home for those first few days or weeks, but um, we're going to try and keep um, as normal as possible, but again, maintaining the comfort and dignity as well. So price range, um, I think depends on top. If we're gonna go for, um, I'm gonna open one. Um, if we go for price, um, absorbency rate, availability, these come out on top. See, they're even smaller. These are smaller than the the men's tenor. Yeah, so I'm going to say the depends uh, are the winners here. That's not me stretching, I haven't stretched them, it's literally just placing it above. And as you can see, I imagine while the, the tenor remain highly absorbent, that we'll be going with these probably. Um, I'm just going to buy a couple of packs in just to make sure that there's something here that if Paul wants to go out or be active, he, he can. Um, we'll be using the NHS ones because we just cannot afford to have these every day. Unfortunately, um, it might be the same for many others across, uh, especially the US, because I know Medicaid doesn't cover a lot of things. If your Medicaid doesn't cover um, incontinence uh, products, I would highly recommend the Depends. Um, but again, we will do another video next week when Paul is actually using the products and we'll work out what works best for him. One thing I did notice is, like I say, with the, um, this is Tesco's, um, but places like Walmart um, do their own uh, brand, their own version. So it might be worth just looking at those, um, just seeing what's around this, CVS, Dwayne Reed, all those sorts of pharmacies, just have a little look, have a look online just see what's on offer because you, you will be surprised and these actually cost three about three pound they were three pound i think there was an offer um but there's ten in there ten in there and just to give you an idea for um the sh these shields or guards if you have a shield they're usually smaller the guard is a bit longer so it acts like a little acts like one of these but without all the all the fringes um, these are usually cheaper. These don't have side leakage. It's 
so these are usually better for um, you know when you've been doing your exercises some time um, you've got your kegels down you know what you're doing maybe you've worked out your absorbency um, needs for example if you're doing um, lifting uh, or you've got you know you have stress incontinence due to lifting and things like that you may find these are really good if you have sudden floods you know these may still be better for you until we work out what's going on there okay so sometimes it's just it's just time so you know that my message i suppose would be that the product will change as you change so just hang in there if you've got to wear these hang in there but if you want a good product depends i think it's the lightest very very light and um yeah i'm quite hopeful with those i think i think they're a good product uh, depends the 10 10 of these cost four pound 49 ish depending on where you buy them um, these shields 10 shields for three pounds there's not a lot in it and actually these are highly recommended in the first few weeks so we're going to go with those for now um like i say this guards this shields this pant, um, lots, lots of different options for you out there. Um, again, maybe speak with your um, nurse if you've got a nurse and a continence advisor, somebody that could just advise you on other methods as well to help you reduce your costs. Things like your Kegel exercises, healthy living, no smoking. Um, and oddly enough, there's things, there's certain foods that, that can cause a lot of incontinence surges, in particular things like tomatoes and caffeine. So maybe see if you can get a list from a practitioner who can actually advise you, because you might find that actually when you start, you don't need all that, and you just need a little shield. And this one is quite a, it's, a, it's an absorbency level four. Um, I don't have a level one at the moment, because Paul wouldn't use number one straight away we'd love him to but at the moment it doesn't look like he'll be on number one anytime soon but number one are paper thin and they're very small you know they're about that big and they fit inside the front of the, the box and let me show you uh, there you just trying to find your boxes with a pouch Okay, so this is your normal sort of pair of boxes. It's just a average pair of boxes. There's no way really for that pad to sit. But if you have I can't really see it at all. But there's a pouch at the front which holds everything in there, you know, safely, all your goods. So if you've got one of those, you could probably get away with any um, product. And what a lot of men do, and I've been speaking to quite a few, they all say they put the product on, whether it's the pants or not, and they cover with their um, own underwear. Sometimes they double up on the pad if they need to, um, but their underwear on top is crucial. Okay, so you, you know, don't feel you've got to wear those pants and nothing else, you can put these on top. Um, just trying to think what else we found out. So far, nothing. Um, we're still waiting on, I say, Paul's delivery. Um, but one thing we've been doing is looking at the pads and we've been researching the prices and what we think might work out best for us. Um, but if you're not sure and you want to know a bit more about pads, you can contact the companies direct on their websites. They offer free samples and I'd highly recommend that. We've had all of these samples free. Um... And it's a good way of just comparing them um, and it gives Paul a chance to try them, especially when he's going out and about. And then um, we can work out what's best for us because we don't want to be spending money um, on a product that really is not going to be fit for purpose for him. And just remember that, that each product will change. Um, one product that might be good for one person might not be good for you and vice versa. So, um, you know, keep 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 with it. Um, 
we're going to aim for these long term and oh actually there's a little picture in the back you can see they go in the front of the pouch and that's long term I think we would like to be because they're paper thin you don't notice them um, I think men would benefit from them um, if if a pad is working for you tell the company um, contact them and tell them why because often they um, they do their designing around obviously individuals who use them so you know if something doesn't work for you but maybe it's a good pad maybe it stays in place but it leaks um, tell them say you know can you do better so I hope that uh, gives you a bit more information and we'll uh, post a video next week and I'll let you know how we get on so wish us luck bye